Welcome back, Sinag Babies! Are you ready to learn with me again? Cool! Oh, by the way, if you're new here, make sure you'll be a Sinag Baby too after this video lesson. How? You'll find it out later. I'm Teacher Sinag, making things easier, clearer, and brighter for you. Welcome to my channel. Today's lesson is about expressing one value as a fraction of another given their ratio and vice versa. A common application of numbers in real life is through ratio and proportion. Sometimes we compare things between each other to make better decisions, and ratio and proportion deals with such comparisons. Also, through this concept, we can determine how much of a material, ingredient, thing, or object is needed. For example, in baking, cooking, and budgeting. In budgeting, ratio and proportion comes in many forms. How much allowance do you receive from your parents? Does your older sibling receive the same amount as yours? Hmm, could you tell the ratio of your allowance to that of your older sibling? Well, check it out later. Ratio and proportion is also useful in describing quantities as well. How many boys and how many girls are in your class? Is the ratio of boys to girls in your class the same as the ratio of that in the other section? Now, Let's engage in this activity for a clearer understanding. In Mrs. Shine's grade 6 math class, there are 19 girls and 16 boys. Compare the number of girls to the number of boys and vice versa. To compare, let us use the concept of ratio. What is ratio? Ratio is a comparison of two quantities. If there are 19 girls and 16 boys, we can say that 19 is to 16. Other ways to express such comparison is by writing them using a colon. 19 is to 16 or writing them in fraction form. 19 is to 16. Therefore, comparing the number of boys to the number of girls can be expressed us. 16 is to 19, 16 is to 19, or 16 to 19. Ratio must be expressed in simplest form, which means that the terms are relatively prime to each other. Here's an example. If there are 15 boys and 12 girls in a class, then the ratio of the boys to the girls is 15 is to 12 and the ratio of the girls to the boys is 12 is to 15. In the ratio 15 is to 12, the first term is 15 and the second term is 12. It may also be written as 15 is to 12 or 15 is to 12. Even if the ratio is in fractional form, we must say it as 15 is to 12. Since the ratio is not yet in its simplest form, we can express it as this. First, get the LCM of 15 and 12. So 15 is equivalent to 3 times 5. 12 is equivalent to 3 times 4. Then, get the common factor, which is 3, and it becomes 1. So, 1 times 5 equals 5. 1 times 4 equals 4. So, therefore, the simplest form of 15 is to 12 is 5 is to 4. How about this? Write ratios equivalent to 3 is to 5. Okay, we can use factors of 2, 4, 6, etc. So 3 is to 5 is equivalent to 6 is to 10, 
12 is to 20, and 18 over 30. As you have seen in the previous examples, the quantities being compared in any given ratio have the same unit or classification. There are instances when the terms of the ratio do not have the same units or classifications. For example, 60 kilometers to an R or 60 kilometers per R. This special ratio is called rate. Here's another example. Joshua scored 168 points in 7 basketball games. Express in lowest terms the average rate of number of points that Joshua scored in every game. Rate equals 168 points is to 7 games. To get the average rate, just divide 168 to 7 and the answer is... 24 points per game. Did you get a lesson, kids? Quite easy, right? Let's see if you really learned something from me today. It's assessment time! Time to check your work. Did you get it right? Awesome! Sinag babies are fast learners. Now, you can already claim my tagline as Sinag babies. Follow me with the simple steps. Give a pat on your shoulders, spread your arms and fingers like a ray of light, and hit it with a bow. Oh. And say, see that baby! Please don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell to be notified and updated with my upcoming videos. I'm your teacher, Sinag, reminding you to be positive and grateful always. Stay home, stay safe, God bless, bye!